Morning again, guys. It is about quarter to 11 here on Thursday. Well, uh, obviously, the liberal left did not see what the people thought here on Tuesday night after losing Virginia, losing their battle in Minnesota, losing uh, mayors in New Hampshire, or senators in Jersey or Long Island or whatever it would be. Okay. Potato Joe has now decided that the mandates for government contractors and government employees aren't enough. They are now talking about, or not talking about, they have now warned that there will be planned inspections. All companies that have more than 100 employees will be required to have their staff jabbed. Okay? Doesn't matter. You work for the local grocery store, the local Home Depot, the local car dealership, whatever it would be. you got over 100 employees. you got to have all your employees vaccinated because Joe said so. How are they going to enforce this? Like I said, there's going to be planned inspections. They are now going to send a Gestapo-like force out to these companies and check everybody. Papers, please. Okay. The fines. $14,000 per violation. Multiply that times 1,000. Or I'm sorry, times 100. That's $1.4 million. Okay. If the entire staff says no. If they don't get it again, the fines could go up to around $136,000 per violation. He is trying to kill American business. There's no other way around it. Okay, You either do what the authoritarian marshmallow says, or they will bankrupt you. Not that they're not trying to bankrupt us with food prices, gas prices, anything. This is the mission for the left. In my opinion, this is retaliation for getting their ass handed to them on Tuesday because they know what's coming a year from now. This is insane, guys. This will destroy the country. Now, how is how are these planned inspections going to be going? I know everybody's going to ask us. I mean, there's millions of businesses in the country, all right? It's going to be based on complaints filed from other employees. So if one of your coworkers has done this and they decide to call up the local OSHA office and say, well, the guy working next to me doesn't have the shot, that's when they'll send an inspector out. So they're pitting one American against another. That's how this is going to be done. We've already said Talked about this many times. Trust in this country is piss. All right. It's gone. You know, you don't trust your neighbor. You don't trust your coworker. You don't trust your boss. You certainly don't trust your school teacher. You certainly don't trust a politician. Okay. This is what they're, they're doing. This, I mean, if this isn't taken right out of a 1930s German playbook, I don't know what is. Because this is exactly what's going on. We've all read about this in history. Well, <laughs> those of us who actually believe in history, you know, of course, we always have the people that say, well, the Holocaust never happened. Yeah. Okay, yeah. There's a bunch of clueless people out there, too. But, okay, for, for the ones who understand, you know, live in reality, okay, this is what is coming. Now, this is what I want you guys to remember for prepper-wise. There is no freaking way in the world your local utility runs on two-thirds of staff. They just, people, people leave, no power. Your grocery store, I mean, we've already seen 
you know, restaurants and stuff like that. Sorry, we're closed, no staff. Yeah, now it's going to be your grocery store, your drugstore, your doctor's office, your auto repair place, your barber, no comments, please, wherever. Okay, they're going to wind up having to close because they're not going to have enough people. This is what Biden is trying to do. He is trying to destroy the U.S. economy. I've said this many times. They're trying to destroy the economy so they can come in and be the savior. Oh, well, you know what? We'll give you state-sponsored grocery stores. We'll give you state-sponsored auto or state-owned auto repair places, state-owned barbers. This is totalitarianism, authoritarianism, communism down to a T. I, 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 it, this is insane, okay? And when they come out and go, I mean, this, this was the comment out of OSHA. The bottom line is vaccine requirements work. And the actions we're taking tomorrow will lead to millions of Americans getting vaccinated, protecting workers, saving lives, strengthening our economy, and helping it accelerate our path out of this pandemic. Bullshit! No! I, you know, they're, they're just, I, I don't, I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to lose it here. They're, this is insane. Because you now, according to Joe Biden, you now no longer own your own body. He does. November 2022, and I know what you guys are going to say about elections, okay? Or at least some of you are going to say about it. Can't come fast enough to get rid of every single one of these authoritarian pieces of shit that are in Washington. And I pray to God that the next Congress, the next House of Representatives, and the next Senate have enough votes in it to, on, what is it, January 4th or whatever it is when they're inaugurated, articles of impeachment, boom. January 5th, Senate throws Biden out. January 6th, articles of impeachment against Kamala Harris, January 7th, boom, throws Kamala Harris out. And then whoever the Speaker of the House is, from the, pray to God, not rhino party, moves into the White House. That's the only freaking way we can save this country. And we got to deal with a year of this first, guys. 2021 sucked. I mean, we all said it. 2020, 2021 was going to make 2020 look like a walk in the park. 2022 is going to be hell on earth. This is this is not thinking at all. This, this will destroy the country. I mean, there were enough country uh, companies that said, the hell with it, we're not doing these mandates. Now they're going to go in there and find them. I hope to God this is like Obamacare, you know, Remember, if you didn't have your health insurance, you'd get fined, but there was no there was no way to enforce the, the recovery. You know, it, the only way they could do it was to withhold a penalty from your tax refund. Okay, you know what? What did everybody do? Fine. I'm going to write in zero as my exemptions on my tax form, and therefore I owe taxes and you can't get me. Okay, simple as that. I don't know what they're going to do because, uh, you know, obviously you have different licenses and things like that. But this, this will collapse the U.S. economy. Because mom and pop hardware store, bigger one, okay, or car dealer or grocery or something. Because if you think they're going to stop at companies with 100 employees, no. They're just going to go on to the next one. They're going to go down to 50. They're going to go down to 25. And eventually it's going to be, sorry, in order to live in the United States, you have to. Hell freaking no. Oh, there's so many things I wish I could say. 
Have a good Thursday afternoon. Pinball out.